Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, good to see you again on Sunday morning. I hope you've had a good week. The weather has been absolutely fantastic. And as we come together this morning, we want to give thanks to God for his goodness, his faithfulness, and his love. And I hope you've also been doing all your, all your schoolwork, keeping up to date with everything that you've had to do, and also helping your mum and dad at home. But as we begin this morning, just let's join together in prayer. Gracious God and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you again this morning that we are privileged to come together in prayer one, with one another to give you praise and thanksgiving for all your great love for us. And while in our memories we are still thinking of Easter and of your son's death upon the cross, we thank you that it was through his complete and finished work that we can call you our Father and know Jesus as our Saviour and as our friend. We thank you for watching over us in these past days. We thank you for being comfort and strength to all those who are in need. And we thank you too that you are our guide and our director in these days, particularly in these uncertain days. We thank you that we can trust in you. This morning, we continue to remember our government and leaders, give them wisdom and guidance. We remember our doctors and nurses, our police officers, our, 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 our soldiers, our prison warders, our bus drivers, our shop assistants, everyone who helps to make life comfortable and blessed to us. Watch over them, care for them, be with them and their families in these days. But also, Lord, we pray that you will draw near to each member of our congregation as we are spread across uh, this part of East Belfast. We thank you that we might be separated by distance, but we're united together in our love and in our service for you. Bless us as your people. Watch over your church today, not only here in Mount Pottinger, not only in Belfast, across Northern Ireland, but across the world. May the people of God continue to be a witness to your love and your light and your faithfulness. Guide our thoughts and bless us this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, if you'd like to look up your Bible, uh, we're going to read some verses from Luke's Gospel, chapter 24. We're still in the story of Easter, and we're reading from verse 13. Now that same day, two of them were going to the village called Emmaus, which was seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them. They were kept from recognizing. He asked them, what, do you, what are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still and their faces were downcast. And we thank God this morning for his word as we have read it together. Boys and girls, you know, when I go on holiday, especially on a plane, and it'll be a while before we're back in aeroplanes, but I, I, plane journeys can be a bit long and a bit tedious, and sometimes the light is a bit strong in your eyes. And one of the things that some airlines, particularly if you're doing long-distance airlines, give you a little pack. And in that pack, sometimes there's a blanket, sometimes there's little earplugs, but on some of those occasions, they'll give you what I, I know as an eye mask, and I've got one here this morning. And this is one, actually, I buy frequently out of, the, out of some of the pound stores because it's great and it just fits around your eyes and it blocks out all the light and you can relax or maybe sleep if you're lucky on a plane. You know, sometimes we play games, don't we? And we, we cover our eyes and it's called Blind Man's Buff and it's, sometimes you, you, you cover your eyes and you count to 20 and you run and catch the, you, you, the people who have hidden once you've opened your eyes. You know, when we close our eyes really, really tight, all we can see is darkness. We can't see what's in front of us. You know, it's not the easiest of things to walk around with your eyes closed. You've got to think of sometimes those people who don't have any eyesight, who are blind, and, and I marvel at sometimes what they're able to do and how they're able to do it. But just imagine for a moment you can't see, and you don't know what's in front of you, and you really, really are a bit distressed. And you know, that's a bit like the story here of these two men traveling to the, down the road to Jerusalem from Emmaus. And these two men were going along. They were discussing, as the Bible says, all that had happened. They were followers of Jesus. They discussed all that had happened, how Jesus was arrested, he was crucified, how he had heard reports that Jesus had arisen. But there were still those doubts in their mind. They're a bit worried. They're a bit downcast. 
Was all that Jesus taught them true? Did everything that he say about himself, has it come to pass? And, and they discussed these things. And the Bible says that Jesus drew alongside them, but they didn't recognize him. And the, Jesus asked them, what had happened? What are you so downcast about? Why are you so upset? And they started to explain. They must have thought Jesus was really weird because everybody knew what had happened in Jerusalem just days before. But they went over it all and they discussed it. And as they journeyed a little bit further, they decided it was time to stop. And as they sat down together, we're told that they, 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 they started to share a meal, a meal. And it says in verse 30, when he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them. Now, though that verse is reminiscent of, a ver of the verses which tell us about Jesus' last supper with his disciples. So he told them that, he was go that, that when he took the bread, he reminded them that it was his body that was going to be broken on the cross. And the Bible tells us that the moment that he gave thanks and broke the bread, what happened? Their eyes were opened. They were no longer blind to seeing what was on around them. They were no longer blind to seeing Jesus. They recognized who he was. And in that moment, we're told, that Jesus disappeared from their sight. Now, can you imagine how they felt? They were so excited, maybe a little disappointed that they hadn't recognized Jesus, but they were so excited that they, they ran back and they told Simon Peter, we have met the risen Savior. Their eyes were open to see who Jesus truly was. And you know, boys and girls, that's our hope and prayer for every one of us, that our eyes would be opened to see who Jesus really is. Some people say he's just a good man or a good teacher or a healer or a miracle worker. Lots of people say good things about Jesus. But the most important thing that Jesus wants us to understand, that he is God's special one and only son, our saviour, and our friend, and he wants us to have our eyes opened and our hearts open to him that we might know him and love him as our savior and as our friend. Boys and girls, the next time you see a, a, a blindfold like this, the next time you, you put it on, maybe you have one in the house, just think about those disciples who didn't recognize Jesus until he broke the bread and gave thanks, and then they realized that this was the Jesus that was crucified, who made all those promises that he would rise again, and he now is risen, and he is the man that he said he would be and has become. What a wonderful Savior is Jesus. What a wonderful friend is he. Let's share together in prayer. Loving Father, we thank you that your son, the Lord Jesus, gave his life for us. And we pray today that our eyes will be opened to him and to all that he has done for us. Bless us in this week that lies ahead as boys and girls. Help us to live for you. And Lord, we come together as a family this morning and we pray as you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Boys and girls, moms and dad, have a great week. And we trust that we will all know God's blessing and his protection. Amen.